Yeah, go ahead, Mike. All right. Okay. For a moment. All right. How about making sure it's lined up because we just put that thing up there. Mm -hmm. All right. It's recorded now. Yes, so this is the view that we have. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, you got me over there? Yeah. All right, so that's how, how it looks. Good. Okay. Is that okay? Yes, okay. Yeah, so I'll try to put it in there. Good. Thank you. Now, I need to move here. Can we just call it up like a Yes. About an hour from now. Okay. Yeah, uh, one of my student assistants will come pick up the phone. Okay, fine. Thank you. Please <laughs> 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 Are you in training? Uh, no, technically we're full fledged. No. Uh, yeah, started a week or two ago. Oh, okay. You're, no, I was just stopping by. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was oh, learning. That's, that's, oh. that's the trick. I'm constantly learning. Oh, that's right. Never uh, stop. Never stop. Right. Hard. So you need to yes. Yes. Good yes. Exactly. Okay. I'm pretty fine. Uh, no, I mean, they're fine with the location of the camera. Yep, no, it's fine. All right. So you can get something to go ahead and talk about the company. So I don't think it's going to work. Make sure you get your yeah. presentation. Oh, that, it seems to me that's not too good. Yeah. The direction of the camera. Yeah. Yeah. He's at yeah. the photos. Yeah. He's outside. Yeah. 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 So you want to, you want to hang into this? No, no, I just take this. You're recording. Right? You're going to go over there? Yeah. Okay, all right. Okay. What are you discussing? <laughs> Uh, you, have a, <laughs> you have a remote yeah, control, yeah. Nelson? Yeah. Oh, that's a problem. My presentation is here. Oh, okay, so you went out there. Got it. Yeah. 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 I guess. Yeah. 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 I agree. Yeah. 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 Uh, no, right now, I'm just going to see the audience. Thanks for having me. She's further ahead than that. So we're very happy now to have Nils from Berlandia from Havariana in Bogota talking about are creating God and Big Bang cosmology, are they in conflict? Nelson. Thank you very much. Hello, ask me right now why this lecture during my test and during my doctorate, my internship was in Tucson, Estepa La Vaticana, Tucson, Arizona. Yeah. I was in this lecture with Bill. So Therefore, he is a I say the tribute for William Stoller. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I start the bottom line. Maybe my Astra is incorrect, my English. Mm -hmm. Big Bang theory and evolution, both of which are very well supported scientifically and divine creation are often seen as contradictory proposals or exclusive alternatives for explaining reality. But we think most Christian theologies approach understanding of each sign strongly support their deep compatibility and complementarity Conflict between the two, the two is traceable to misunderstandings of one or the other. So, so for me, it's not a problem, this theory. So I put V. 
these curly lines, which I read this one, mm -hmm. and relation to Big Bang cosmology. So the first part is more physical and the second is more theology. Mm -hmm. And the first part is our universe made up features and history, the Big Bang and the Planck era, what it was and what it was not. What quantum cosmology can give us? So I, I try to explain this part. Our university today constitutes large scale structure, star and planets, cluster of stars, galaxies, cluster of galaxies, supercluster and void. Chemical structure, 92 natural elements and innumerable simple and complex molecules, light. And cosmic contents, baryons and leptons, 4%, no baryonic dark matter, 23%. Person and radiation, least one person, and dark energy, 23%. Therefore, this morning, I do, because right now, all the old universe, all the, we know that this kind of the universe is only 4%. The other part, 96%, we don't know what happened about the universe. Is dark energy and matter is dark. Only we know how we can How? Okay. We have different proofs. The first proof is right now the universe is expanding uh, more, more, more quickly than the, the, the beginning. So they say maybe there is a attraction gravitation, there is a gravitational mass or side of the universe. Because what is the reason that universe well, the second part is you know the spiral of the the majority of the galaxies, the foremost is in the spiral. Why the the galaxy move on the Angular moment, the angular momentum is quicker than the in the beginning. So there, are, there is some man, dark matter to accelerate the, the angular momentum for the galaxy. That's energy of that matter. That matter is dark energy accelerated. Okay, I cannot uh, measure, mm -hmm. I cannot see. I've heard a lot about dark matter. I don't know much about dark energy. How do they know the proportion between dark matter, 23%, dark energy, 73%? Yes. If you like to stop this question, it, it, maybe in the teacher, and it's okay. a good question. Okay. Fine. Okay. Later on. Later on. Good. Our universe today, characteristics, age, around 13.7 billion years since Big Bang. Extend 40 billion light years in radius. The extension of our universe. 100 billion galaxies. <laughs> Expanding, cooling, and gently accelerating, involving on all scales. Very long and small and intermediate scales. A smooth, homogeneous, and very large scales. Much more not baryonic than baryonic matter. This is part of the answer to you. 
that energy equal vacuum energy? Geo friendly is anthropotic principle. Some guy say that theory. The sun physicists don't agree with this fact. Mm -hmm. the, the, this morning they say the conscious, we are the conscious, conscious, yeah. conscious, yeah. conscious of the universe. So the human being are the conscious. Therefore, we are the anthropic principle. Our mission is thinking about the universe. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we evolutionate on this kind of the line because we are the conscious for the universe. Mm -hmm. This song has definitely with this theory. For instance, it's giving hope. Don't agree with it. Okay, this is, you know, the four interactions. The first one is the gravity, electromagnetic slide, the strong nuclear force, and the weak nuclear force. There are another theories support that of under this, like the 50 essence, essence, quinta essence. Mm -hmm. Propose another support this kind of the force as another theory. The first force. The first force. More than the force is a sense, more the complementary of the universe. Mm -hmm. But evolution of the universe. Cosmic evolution sets the stage for complexity and life. We need a cool, highly structured, complex, and rich differential environment for life to be possible. There is a position. In the beginning, how is the evolution cooler than younger, smooth, rounded, simple, and complex? This morning, Make the question, what about the time, the future? There is a secret. In thesis, the line of time is in entropy. You know this, maybe we repeat this essence of this part of the, our life. But I know why, or the thesis say, we go to the, this direction because the entropy is impossible to return. We go this in this direction. Uh -huh. It's in disorder, it's in chaos. What is cosmology? Cosmology is the physics of the universe trait and, and single object of the study. The investigation and modeling of its structure, dynamics, and history, and the process which govern them. Origin, Big Bang. Destiny is what will become of it. I remind this part of the origin. We made the symposium in Caribbean University with philosophers and theological and physicists. And the philosopher asked about the origin. It's, it's different than the beginning of the universe. You know, the, the world is different. So the depends of the question, the depends of the word you take, origin or the beginning. What do you say? The origin of the universe, the beginning of the universe. Destiny, what will become of it in the end of the universe? And you know it says in the morning. Meaning. Astronomy, cosmology, geology, and biology. Big Bang, around 13.7 billion years. Galaxies begin to form 300,000 years after the Big Bang. Our solar system formed 4.6 billion years ago. And origin of the light of Earth 
or two, three point six billion years ago. The first cells from the cell protozoari. Earless prokaryotes, three point five billion years ago, accumulation from of pre of genes in the atmosphere, two point five billion years ago. Earless aquariums, 1.5 million years ago. Earless animals, 700 million years ago. Earless hominids, more than 5 million. Earless homo sapiens, 4,000 years ago. This Lucy, you know Lucy in Chicago, the Arisa. They say this is the first human in the History of the cosmos. Cosmo. Cosmic evolution, very early universe, being back, end of the planet era, the temperature 10 power 22 Kelvin, quantum cosmology, very hot. <laughs> Emerging on gravity, spend time, key, least 10 power 52 Kelvin. This morning, asking what happened about the before the, the Big Bang. But you, you cannot ask because before to the Big Bang, there is no exist a space and time. And you can stop thinking about nothing about before the Big Bang. Inflation, primordial density fluctuation, exit from inflation, rating. Temperature 10 power 19 Kelvin. Complex differential of physical interaction. That's for the four four. History of cosmic in the universe. Nuclear synthesis of helium, deuterium, the second helium, lithium. Temperature 10 power 9 three minutes. Early cosmic more longer. The combination, the coupling, last scattering of cos cosmic background radiation, CBR. The second part of the your question, Tom, you asked me about the mm -hmm. this part is important for the the answer. The cosmic background radiation. The dark energy. No. Mm -hmm. Second part of all there. <laughs> Lay space. Late expansion, time, three, power, three times, ten power, five years, two, four, late universe, galaxies, cluster of galaxies, star elements, heavier than alien and lithium. In the structure, chemical evolution, simple and complex molecules, simple and um, structure. Chemical evolution, reproducing system of molecules, RNA, DNA proteins, and life and biological evolution. So on the last part, intelligence and future evolution. So I like this uh, picture, but I have, I think, has an error or mistake. Because you know, okay, this is the in the line of time, in the beginning, in back until here, 2017. In the beginning, inflation, quantum fluctuation. The physics say we don't know what happened before 10 power mean 32 seconds. The physics say. I cannot say what happened before this time. I remember in National University was one Nobel Prize. Nobel Prize. He, he said, he asked him what happened about. He, he said the physics cannot answer this question. It's only for the metaphysics or the theology. The physics cannot. Okay. Dark 
age and this our universe is the satellite he made the map around the earth he take the photograph he complain the universe there is, a, there is a mistake because the observer, we are the observer, this kind of the picture, but here is impossible the system, you know, because here is no space and time. You need to enter in this tooth, in this part. So, this is a good illustration for us what happened about the evolution and the history of our universe. So, I like this. It's very, very nice for me. You know, before this one, no? Carl Sagan proposed this cosmic calendar. Mm -hmm. In the top, there is a, a calendar. You know, here is that fields, January fields. January, February, Marana, December, here. So here is the Big Bang in the beginning of the universe. And here is 2017. So the line of the universe. Our, our um, Milky Way galaxy forms in March. And you know it's a proportion of 13.7 million years in this calendar. In August, the solar system formed in the first light. In December, here is only December. One, two, three, four, five. In the 15, December 15, first animal in the cosmic calendar. Okay, dinosaurs, mammals, birds, flowers, dinosaurs, all these things. And December 55th, 10, 15 a.m., the 8th, and the 11, 59 p.m., Newton Land and other megaphone die out. So this is the last 60 seconds of the year. In the 40 peak and last glacial period, humans and on every continent. A group of permanent settlements, few cities in the Mesopotamia, Roman Republic. Here, in the last second, Columbus discovers America. <laughs> so, uh, so you are in the least, least second in the universe. So, we say we are the kings of the universe. It is only for the time. I bring the same calendar, but the space, we are at the minus tiny part of the universe. I imagine you see this presentation, the, the big and you started in Manhattan, in the United States, and the Earth, and the big, 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 the different scales. If we are in the universe, if we are the thing, 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 thing. Okay. Principal source on evidence of cosmology. Systematic relationship of distant galaxy, expansion. One of the proof of the star, you can see the spectrogram, like electrogram, you can see the galaxy same. All the galaxies have a thing, like the, what did you say, thin fingerprint. Each galaxy has a fingerprint different. Abundance of 
helium, deuterium, lithium. Temperature 10 power 9 Kelvin. Baronic matter 4% and critical density. So they calculated the mass. Can you say what baryonic matter is? The baryonic matter? Yeah, that protons and neutrons and whatnot. It's, it's the 92 elements that we know. Okay. This is the same thing. The baryons and leptons. And leptons. Sorry. Yeah, the baryons and leptons. Earlier you said 4% is baryonic. Leptons. Yeah. Here you say baryonic matter. I mean baryons and leptons together? Yes. Yeah. Therefore, there is a nucleus that according to both smaller. You say the nucleus and the electron, if you can put another electron, another electron in it, before. When you put another uh, atom, you can electron depends of the lack connection and links. And leptonic. So baryonic includes leptonic. Leptonic, yes. Okay, um, again cosmic microwave <laughs> microwave and radiation. Well maybe here in the picture. You remind in the satellite, this, this satellite, he take the picture from the, in the background, in the beginning of the universe. This, this picture, they say, the guys say, this is the first picture in the, in the universe. They say it's, it's smooth because it's only one part, but if you see different, Density. What's the rate range? The, the temperature is more high. Oh, yes, so how much? In this part, is to a power 32 Kelvin. The black part. The red part. And the black part, in the black part, they say is part of the dark, dark matter. Change it. Is it dark because it's ever to the slow close to zero? Mm -hmm. Sorry. The dark prefer most a gravitational more attract more that the temperature. Another good uh, illustration. Here, put the the satellite and take the picture from in this part. So we are the time. You ask me about the temperature. Can okay. okay, inflation? Here the uh, baryonic error. 100 second formation, delium and helium, deuterium and helium. One more is the picture we have. One more. We don't have picture before the one month of the Big Bang. Mm -hmm. Last is currently present after the Big Bang. The cosmic microwave background radiation surface of last scattered is analogous to the line coming through the clouds to our head on a cloudy day. Like this picture on the other. We can only see the surface of the cloud where light was last scattered. Why do you have a cone? Or just because when okay, okay more late say that you see with one eye. Just after sunset you see 
Guarda, Bim Bang theories. Bim Bang theories are those in which the universe becomes ever hotter and denser as we go to early and early cosmic epochs, as those they no explain or model of initial singularity. Though quantum cosmology could hopefully free enable us to do so eventually, the ever hotter and denser phase we encounter as we go back farther into the past are very well established from observation but least still independent source of evidence. For instance, the CBR. <laughs> Another proof of the dark is it the denser, the dark matter that the density, the denser of the universe. The guys can calculate well about the matter. With this matter, it's possible uh, the, the gra gravitational field. But right now, the gravitational field is bigger than the beginning. Another proof, what happened? There is another matter, extra mass, that all this kind of the gravitational field. But the black era and what we said in are not in reliable model quantum cosmology. The Bim Bang is present standard model. For Freeman, the Medley, Robertson, Walker models, we are isotropic and homogeneous. As we go back in time, the universe becomes ever hotter and denser. Eventually, we reach a point where the density and temperature are infinite. This is the Big Bang, the beginning of the universe. Some guy in my in universe, his doctorate was about the Friedman Lemaitre Robertson Walker metric. He tried to demonstrate that the universe rose, or the universe rose. Rosa? Rotates with this uh, model. But though these models are reliable for temperature, least 10 32 Kelvin, this mean one initial singularity falls outside the reliability and cannot represent what reality occurs. So, another answer. For the question, is the phone, is the time, is the space? We are here, is our the present, if we have the future, the possibility of the future, but we have the possibility of the past. Some guys say, if you here, in the beginning, it's possible different beam banks. No, no only one singularity. It's possible because you here you can collect different parts of the past. There is no singularities, different singularities. That doesn't make sense. I have the past. I, I have the possibility of the future. This part is in the inverse of the light velocity. You can move it in this cone of the time, but you have the cones in the past also. But they are open different possibilities. I don't know, in the, in the high school, I was in the soccer team and party with my friends and the restaurant and different. Was it being independent universe? But no, here is one universe. After, because it's another theory. It's possible multi 
universe, but this parallel. Mm -hmm. Parallel? Parallel. You can write in mathematics, but you cannot uh, contact with the other universe. Mm -hmm. So when you see the path of the, our universe, you can see this one. Here the possibility is 10 cosmology, background radiation, here in this part. Therefore, the comment. And we come to cosmology eventually tell us a reliable mode of the Planck era, how the space time and gravity emerge from the view primordial quantum contribution, and how this superpose gravity, electromagnetics, with a strong nuclear force, sequentially split into two forms. How Planckian physics flows into classical physics, how our universe began expanding cooling, why write the Planck era and one present it, whether or not it is like that there are all the universe besides ours, the multiverse, multiverse and what they are the like. Some explain, maybe pass quickly, but the time, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, some possible explanation of the Planck era, the Big Bang scenario, before pl uh, Planck era, the universe collapsing from infinity, heating up the Planck temperature, and then respond in our observable universe, a ketonic scenario, our 3D cosmic space, and floating around, as one of many brains, the theory of the square string, cosmology and Christianity. That is the bridge of the theology. Essential compatibility, limitation competencies of cosmology, understanding divine creation, Christian elaboration of divine creation. Essential compatibility. Apart from fundamentalist Christian approach, biblical, literal, <laughs> like I know in Kentucky there is a museum of the creation. If there is a scientific, you explain what about the seven days. They say from the science, I can explain what happened at the Genesis. No, that's what you know, they know. And they insist the earth is 6,000 years old. Also bankrupt. They fail. Christian theology has insisted on the consonant between the legitimate, legitimate conclusion of scientific investigation, reason, and Christian belief. This is then, this insistence has its foundation in the scripture, then solved and clear expression mm -hmm. in the short father, Augustine, Genevieve, Basilti Gray, and many Christian philosophers and theologians, Albert the Great, Thomas Aquino. Basis, God is the author of nature as well as the author of revelation. Therefore, whatever we discover is true about nature cannot conflict with the truth of revelation, the two books, the book of the scripture and the book of the nature. Thus is there appears to be conflict between them on some issue. issue. Then we have misunderstand or misinterpreted one or the other. A fundamental physical conclusion from the quantum cosmology. Any reliable theory of the Planck era and the Big Bang requires the tidy pieces along with some physical entities, a structure and a space which only lay and explain the Planck era itself. Any source account will avoid all with the man into some important explanation of physical foundation and undoubtedly some metaphysical ground or source other than itself and its physical antecedent. What about Ken? Maybe part this part. I like to go to the Bible. Bible. 
divinization, biblical source. Maybe it's a contrary way for the stronger, <laughs> for the majority of the theologians. I think of what, of what is my theory. We Catholic, we are Catholic. I think we study in the New Testament, not in the Old Testament. Why? Because we know first Jesus. We are not Jews. So we start my my theory is we need to study in the New Testament. We put the glasses with Jesus. He after study the Old Testament. In the beginning of studies on the in the imaginary collective collective imaginary when you thinking about the origin of the universe, your, your relation chip with the Genesis book, because it's an, our Catholic theology. But I think we need to study in the, in the New Testament. Then, for instance, I like very nice this part. Colossians chapter one. He is the image of the answer God, the pure born of creation. For in him were created all things in heaven and on earth. Everything is visible and everything invisible, strong and really poor. Sovereign, sovereignty, sovereignty is power. All things were created from him and from him. He exists before, before all things and in him, and things come together. And he is the head of the body, that is the church. He is the beginning, the first born from the dead, so that he shall be supreme in every way. Because God wanted all fullness to be found in him, and drawn him to reconcile all things to him, everything in heaven, and everything on earth by making peace throw his death on the cross. So my theory is we need to ask him about the Trinity, the three persons, the Father and, and the Son and the Holy Spirit in the, in the beginning, all into the after study the Genesis, the, the book of the Genesis, if do you understand that God, the three person, compared the humanity? Or in the history, in the beginning. Understand and articulate one divine creation. Gradual developing through the study of scripture. Prayful reflection, philosophical consideration, and discussion. Contribution by Father of the Church and the medieval theologian who came from Islamic and Jewish scholars. For instance, in these days, the BBC found one. Investigation about the Roman Revolution to guide. Robert Grosset. The 13th century. 13th century amateur scholar. He is talking about the, where it means the light in the Bible. If he relates in chief to the, in the beginning, the book of the Genesis, say that God there is the light. So for kings, he approach creation is me, me still, ex nihilo, ex nihilo, ex nihilo. At any Trinitian Christological elaboration, beginning creation, creation as such property understand philosophical and theological, does it not claim to find alternative to other substitute for, for the natural science? Physics and quantum cosmology is a simple and a very um, adorned way to provide an ultimate philosoph philosophical explanation for the existence and the origin of reality of all that the natural science provides. And using the case quantum cosmology and physics cannot do that. This presumed exists and ordered and then set up to describe it in, in the case. 
the thesis and cosmology and saints raise the philosophical question on the ultimate source of ground system and order, which they think self cannot answer, being the one of the limitations of the natural science. Because of that creation as a philosophical and theological insight or scenario complements and is compatible with thesis and cosmology, as long as it is properly understood. <laughs> so God is creation for the nothing, creation is nihilo, ultimate depends on, on God for an ancient order, ontological order, origin, no necessary temporal origin, the, the same question for the philosopher, not an event but ongoing relationship, participation in God exists an order, the creator in a new and empowering thing to be an act of their own as they are, does not involve change. There is another aspect, continuous creation, creation continuous is, is sustaining or conserving a system, an order, continuing investment of new thing system, especially through the operation of the law on nature. That action, this morning, I will say that right now the causality is attributed to God only analogically. God's great action is simply significantly different from any other kind of action or casualty. Mm -hmm. Primary casualty of God and the secondary casualty on everything else. Formation and functional integrity of creation. God does not feel gaps except the gap of the need to run a system and order. God works in and through creation and the laws of nature. And what is the conclusion? The creator and creation cannot be completely described under two. Mystery, equal in a subtly fish, can never get to the bottom of it, and yet we can understand something about both the creator and creation. We can never arrive at a adequate answer or explanation. By science, philosophy, and theology, we are searching for the least inadequate accounts of what we observe, explain, and study. <laughs> Thank you very much. Since we were in disagreement with Bill's statement, what where is the disagreement? Okay, because he said or he said, <laughs> he said. Okay, the, the, the begin, you don't need to study the beginning of the universe, but the book of the Genesis, the Genesis. I think uh, okay, we need to study the Genesis but with the glasses with Jesus. Not with, because the problem is not if God created in six days or created the views of the language. It's the mystery. It's the narrative. Mito? Narrative. It's the religious experience for these uh, people. Yes. So we need to involve in, in this what happened around of these people. It's the problem of the Jews. So for us, we are come now in with the thesis and cosmology and anthropology and theology of the science. I think in 100 or 200, the, the other people say, why these people are ignorant? So I think we need to step in the, in the present. The after you need to expand the other part. In my theory, I am not a theologist. I think there are some uh, aspects of the first chapter of Genesis that we should accept. Uh, in contrast to other uh, accounts of the origin of, of things from simultaneous society. For example, God said, let there be light, and the light 
first. It's not a physical fight, it's not a struggle, but God is completely uh, powerful and autonomous, and God says, let there be light, and it occurred. Also, uh, God saw each day that what he created was good. That is different from many other creation accounts of contemporary society in which there was a struggle between good and evil. For Genesis, God is good, and what God creates is good. And when God created human beings, he saw that it was very good. So those are important uh, theological positions that come out of Genesis. And what about the uh, struggle that precedes the creation of the universe? The devil and the angels, and the, the good versus the evil. Whose that doesn't exist in Genesis, not before the creation. After there is sin, but in the beginning there was not in Genesis. You mean the devil, the devil only exists because of Adam's sin? No, but uh, the devil has no participation before God creates things. <laughs> you see, they, 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 I, I don't agree with this part. When you thinking about what happened in the beginning, you ask it about the, the Genesis book. Yeah. You need to ask it in the, in the New Testament. What about what now? For instance, St. Paul says that we are the, and we are fine in our hair. Did you explain right now what happened with a Jew? We help the psychology and theology right now, not with the Genesis. Do you know the trump? The, the trampa. <laughs> trap. Trap. When you think about the origin, you ask in the book of the Genesis. But the book of the Genesis don't answer our question. <laughs> we need to the New Testament, the faith of Jesus. But, but going back to what Tom Bancroft said, mm. the devil only appears after the six days of creation and God day of, of rest. According to Jews. So according to Genesis. And yes, the prince of so the this Jews. is important. Yeah, and I know God creates important. the universe as something good. Yes. And that is in complete contrast to the other creation accounts of how society. So that is the contribution of the book of Genesis. Yeah. Um, does it even make sense to say for the angels and the devil, the angels created before the beginning of the universe. That's not a question in Genesis. That's your question. My question, yeah. Okay, but we're, I'm talking about interpreting Genesis. You're putting another question in that's not part of Genesis. Well, it's agreed to say that all things visible and invisible. Genesis is not agreed. Right. Oh. Okay. Yeah. 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 
animals existed before the, the yeah, but that was a, that that was a special state. <laughs> Was the incarnation of evil. Well, you say that death came into the world through the sin. Is that what you're saying? Yes. So well, animals existed for a long time and were dying. How should I? Because it says in Genesis. <laughs> <laughs> but I told you about the you history of everything in Genesis. That's obviously. <laughs> but I was pointing out that they're very important theological contributions yeah. of Genesis that are just as true today as ever. And uh, we shouldn't despise them. But obviously there are many things in Genesis that cannot be accepted. For example, death is part of the evolutionary strategy that God created in the universe. Yeah. And so it's not a result of sin. Yeah. But what can be a result of sin is that we have difficulty looking on death as it really is the opening for eternal life. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the difficulty, and that's what uh, comes from sinfulness. If we had a clear mind that was clearly connected to God, we would not be so fearful of death. We would recognize it as the fullness, the fulfillment of our life on earth. But because of our sinfulness, we have difficulty recognizing that. Mm -hmm. Well, if I had not sinned, we wouldn't be asking the question because we wouldn't worry about that. Right. Well, uh, uh, this has been a big exchange here, but uh, would anyone else like to make a comment or a question? Mm -hmm. I can just add some, oh, a few words about dark energy and matter. Um, so it's not dark because it's colder, or it's dark because the way we measure matter in the universe is by measuring the light that matter emits. And when we do these measurements and we calculate the speed that things are rotating, the amount of matter that we measure doesn't add up to um, no. the speed. So there has to be something there not emitting light. We call this dark matter, um, and also with dark energy, that's really a misnomer. We have no idea what it is. Saying it's energy isn't really a true statement. We think it's energy, so we call it energy, but it kind of takes away, if, if you call it it's energy, then you're going to be searching for something that is energy. It might not be energy. So there's a lot that we don't know about dark matter and dark energy that we're still learning about. There's a lot of different theories, but there's still a lot we don't know. Dark energy could be Einstein's cosmological constant. But I think I'm not in favor of that. Yeah. I think only knows about the Milky Way. Mm -hmm. In 100, 100 years, 100, we know this kind of the universe. Before this Einstein, the people know about the, this kind of the universe. We are privileged. <laughs> also with the expansion of the universe, if we just took into account that mass always attracts, there's no reason that things should be spread apart. So there's something else there that's causing things. Right, but isn't mm -hmm. the expansion really increasing? Right. That causes things. Well, it's also the same. expansion could be caused just by the original Big Bang. So the fact that it's actually increasing. Right. We're expected to be slowing down. And dark matter is evidenced by the fact that the galaxies are rotating, but not exploding. There has to be some heavy mass at the center of the galaxy to keep it from exploding. And that forms dark matter. It brings something to the galaxy. No, the different structure for the galaxy. Yeah. But uh, galaxies are rotating, so, and if there was not a very large mass in the center of the galaxy, it would be expanding much more rapidly. So uh, in order to uh, uh, explain it in terms of a theory of general relativity, there has to be a large mass there. But what interacts electromagnetically is much smaller. 
And so there has to be a mass there that doesn't interact. So that's, what we like mean, that's what we call dark energy. It's like well, dark matter. And I'm, okay. I just picture dark matter is where it interacts the normal way the other matter acts. Not electromagnetically. Maybe not electromagnetically. That's why it's dark. That's why they use the word dark. Some guys say in the center of the galaxy, there are black holes. Yeah. Therefore, this kind of the, the movement of rotate. Yeah. But sometimes the density of the mass with this kind of the rotate, we don't have the value for this mass. You know, to to extra mass for this kind of the rotation. Therefore, you yeah. need more mass. Mass for the gravity. Yes. Well, what is this this mass? Is you can say you can no measure. You can only measure it the gravitational effect. Right. So doesn't this also present a hole in the whole theory of uh, of the universe? The, the effect of gravitation that it has to add matter? There's something missing. And we're substituting our imaginations for what's missing. Yes, yeah, there's something missing. But you could call it dark matter, or you could say that there's something in the theory that has to be changed. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You're talking about the expansion, but I heard Paul Penrose was speaking a couple of years ago about it's expanding, but then it's going to contract again. And when it gets to the point where it's almost nothing, it'll expand again. And maybe it's already happened four or five times already. And if we're going to send any information across that, Key point, we better start now. We'll be there for the next time. But the momentum, uh, uh, I heard him speak at Berkeley in 1962, uh, working on three body, three body problems. He had retired from teaching, but he was there with some former students who used to be at Notre Dame. And he uh, gave a talk at uh, Newman Center. I used to serve this man every morning. And he gave a talk at the Newman Center where he said, somebody said, when did the Big Bang occur? And he said, shortly after the beginning of time. And I said, what? And he said, if you don't have time, and you have measures, events that can be measured, there has to be differentiation. But before that, there was no differentiation. So you had to, they had to explode somehow before there were enough things around to measure uh, talk about time. I didn't quite understand that. I still have my questions about time. I always agree that it's on the idea that there's some linear continuum independent of physical reality. Yeah, you, said you don't even have it until you have physical reality. Uh, uh, Earth and the common Well, that's kind of what Stephen Hawking says about the origin of the universe is that the moment of the Big Bang, there's no time direction there or spatial direction. And immediately after, the time direction appears. It's like looking at the south pole of a sphere. At the south pole, there's no vertical direction. But if you move out of that, then you have a vertical direction. So it can actually not be a singularity in space time. But at the point of the Big Bang, there's no, there's not a singularity, but there's no time direction. I think that's what he said. I don't know about Austin. You mean there were four, four, four dimensions? But there was no differentiation. There, there was no after, spatial direction. After there was one no time the, direction. One, one of them became time? Uh, well, it, it's actually, if you think of it, it's like the, uh, uh, the south pole of a four dimensional sphere in five dimensional Euclidean space. Mm -hmm. And uh, the vertical dimension direction would be time. But at the south pole, there are four directions that are spatial directions. Can one of them be zero, which can be developed and become time? The time direction is, is zero here. Mm -hmm. 
but uh, there are four space over there, but I mean, one of them is the axis that hasn't, hasn't grown yet. Strong astronomy, why would we be found? Yeah. Completely symmetric in the four spatial directions. Like that, all the four, and it's sprung up on one side. Mm -hmm. Is that what it is? <laughs> Time exists after, as you said, uh, cycle of creation. There's no time direction at the moment of the Big Bang, but it can, it doesn't have to be uh, a singularity in terms of manifold theory. It can have a tangent space, it's just the tangent space has only a spatial direction. And only afterwards do you get a time direction. Time axis becomes visible. So yeah. Well. So thank you very much. <laughs> We have cookies for you, man. Yeah, I brought over the cookies. So <laughs> good. 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 I don't know if there's enough for every person, but maybe take a half or something. Yes, that's a good idea. Oh, let's start. Did you stop it here, Nelson? Are you stopping the recording?